So, if you're one of the seemingly few people that want the option, option. to have a finer bed mesh with more data points on the Ender 3 V3 SE, well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> Unless Creality really gets some gumption to do this, I don't think that they're going to do it. And, um, I went to the Ender 3 V3 SE subreddit to try and get a little support on this, because I didn't think it was going to be such a hot topic. But unfortunately, when I made this post, I did not get a single positive comment. So, the only feedback that I've gotten here has been negative, and here's the consensus on basically what it's been. The 4x4 grid is good enough, and making it finer wouldn't make any difference. I don't believe that. Um, switch the printer to clipper. That, I don't want to do that. Um, I think a lot of people don't want to do that. Or the simple solution to convert the printer back to the to the way that every other printer was for the longest time and have bed leveling screws. So you have to convert the printer to basically just be a, a slightly more stable and direct drive Ender 3 V2, which I already have. And the Ender 3 V2 has better firmware made for it by the community, unlike the Ender 3 V3. At least right now, at the time of this recording. So yeah, I am not <clears throat> I am not very happy with the community at this point either, because people just keep on making excuses for Creality to not improve. People want to sit there and tinker with their machines. So then the the rest of the people who have gotten sick of tinkering with their machines have to suffer. Now Here's what really annoys the crap out of me, is I, f I feel like half of the Reddit community, at least half, ignores even the most defined, like, explanations. Because I've made a post on a few other things, as of, on a few other Reddits, and, uh, subreddits and stuff as well, and people always seem to miss major details. And for this one, the major detail, which I expressed explicitly, I put it in bold and in capitals, let me bring up my, des my desktop here, bring make sure I get this up. Before anyone says anything, let's just get this right out of the way. I'm really pissed off at myself that I somehow messed up the title to my post and continually missed it throughout writing it. It's just wild to me, but so, yeah, just don't mention it, please, for the love of God. I put it in bold and in capitals, and I explicitly said, I, I stress the word, Option! Option is the key word of today! I don't understand why people... People all say that this would only hinder the machine one way or another, or it wouldn't matter or be worth it. Well then, if you don't want it, you don't have to use it. That's why it's an option. 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 option, option, option. <laughs> but for the people that do want to at least try it, I would like to have a finer mesh of at least 6x6. Six six. The Ender 3 V2 software or firmware that was community made had an 11 by 11 grid, but it also worked better and had tramming capability, which allowed you to manually level the bed to be as flat as possible within a certain tolerance, which I believe was one was was 0 0.02 or 0 0.01, something like that, and that worked flawlessly. Unfortunately, we will never have a tramming feature on this printer, at least you know. I, I wouldn't expect there to be one, because that would defeat the purpose of, um, <laughs> of worry-free bed leveling. Which, of course, it can't do, but Creality keeps wanting to say that it has. So, effectively, we have a worse Ender 3 V2, though I think it may be a few dollars, not a few dollars, but a few, you know, a handful of dollars cheaper. Even now, I don't know if they've lowered the price of the V2, V2 to compensate for all these other machines, but also you wouldn't have a direct drive machine if you got a V2, at least not by default. Anyway, let's go through some of these comments and see what people have to say. So this person says to just get the, the rubber silicone, or, you know, the I'm assuming flexible standoffs instead of the normal standoffs because Creality brutally messed that up, even though they tried to, to compensate for the weird shifts in their bottom plate, they did not do so remotely correctly. And then this person replies with a tutorial on how to do it, and this is a tutorial I think going even further than the original po the original commenter said. They got new screws that are longer, and then they put knobs on the bottom. 
So they converted it to the old form of bed, le bed leveling combined with um, auto mesh leveling. So that's why I keep saying it's effectively an Ender 3 V2 that's been upgraded with a BL touch, but also with less community support for now. And I don't know, it's just so frustrating. So I just wanted to make another quick interjection here and talk about a comment that I saw on the tutorial for doing that um, bed leveling conversion, whatever. And there's this freaking fool here that says ABL or auto bed leveling is just a gimmick on those printers, which I assume he means basically any Ender 3 or any Ender printer or any bed slinger, the style with the... Um, <coughs> in voice cracks anything that is in the form of like an ender style printer and while that's true for how dipshit creality has implemented the abl it doesn't have to be just a gimmick it can be per it can be good and it can work basically perfectly but companies are just choosing not or at least creality is just choosing not to actually put any actual effort into it and I don't understand why people and then people just sit here and keep on making ex excuses and workarounds and it's no that's not the solution people need to put pressure on creality themselves to actually improve and make it they people need to make a difference not just try and come up with solutions solutions and band-aids for their stupid mistakes that shouldn't have been there from the start and this is why I'm so frustrated throughout this video it's just and this is why I think that these comments are so I, I don't mean to be this guy but I think that all these that all these comments all these reasons are stupid they're just stupid to me and it's just all excuses uses and other stupid crap and I just hate the situation. Anyway, back to the video. This person says there's a balance to be struck between having more options available and having a clean, easy, na navigatable interface. With a 4x4 grid, you should be able to get a level, get it level enough that a higher resolution grid doesn't make any meaningful impact on print quality. There are pretty huge gaps in between the 4x4 grid. The way that it is now and on top of the fact that creality managed to not even get it centered somehow their leveling is not in the actual corners or middles of the bed so that's you know annoying so i think at least a finer mesh would help <clears throat> at least a slightly finer mesh of five by five or six by six would be beneficial i think you are incorrect and then they're saying that having this option would clutter the interface it's literally an option in one place, so there's only one bar added somewhere, and then you just have more points. It worked on, a, on the Ender 3 V2, why wouldn't it work on the Ender 3 V3? That's another big thing that I keep talking about, is I don't know why Creality doesn't learn from old firmware that's community made, so therefore it's open source and available to be used on future products that they make from the factory. But they choose to just keep making their crappy auto-leveling firmware and just keep pushing it. This person says, I am not even sure the bed mesh was ever properly applied on the SE. I switched the I switched the clipper. I switched the clipper with a old RPI3 I had, never going back to Marlin. I don't even know what half of that means, honestly. Oh, it's a Raspberry Pi, I think. But why would you need a Raspberry Pi to run Clipper on the machine, can it handle it by itself? I think Clipper might run systems a little harder than average firmware like Marlin, which I think is the default for all the Ender machines for the most part, but I don't, I don't know. Either way, this is basically just saying, this is basically saying don't use the stock firmware, which I guess I would agree with if someone had developed it, but apparently Creality hadn't even released the actual source firmware, so this printer is not open source the way that old ones were, I guess? That's my understanding from this comment. And that is actually quite an issue because Creality has never gotten the bed leveling right. They made supporting firmware for the BL Touch because then they also made the CR Touch, which is which was essentially just, I think, a rebranded. It was basically exactly the same as the BL Touch, but rebranded, as far as my knowledge. And then they made a kit to install it with a few different brackets for a few different Ender machines. Not even just the Ender 3, but, you know, other Enders and then other subcategories of the Ender 3. But their firmware 
never worked correctly. It didn't seem to help when I used it. So I think I think I went onto a different I think I went onto the Ender 3 V2 subreddit and someone said to install new firmware and this was when I was very new to 3D printing still. I think I had been printing for a year or two, but I had never done anything that seemed as advanced as completely installing a new brain for how the printer is going to work. So it is a, qu a quite simple change. You literally just, as long as you have the right name, I think, and you put on your, your, your SD card, flip it in there, turn on the printer, it starts installing, assuming that it's made correctly. That's why I'm a little confused on why you need this Raspberry Pi 3 to install the clip, the clipper firmware. But I guess it's because it's not a Marlin firmware, so it's not default, I don't know. But yeah, so I had to install third-party firmware, and then the bed leveling worked 10 million times better because you also got the finer mesh, you got the tramming feature, which allowed you to actually flatten the bed properly on top of the automatic bed leveling. So there were not as many comments on here as I remembered, but uh, it, this post swiftly got destroyed because, as you can see here, it has a zero upvote and downvote. Um, I think by default my thing, you know, my the Reddit upvotes it. And then I think I also got another upvote, but then those upvotes got cancelled out by downvotes, by, you know, pieces of crap that want to ruin things for other people. <laughs> so, yeah. The community was utterly unhelpful if you do happen to be a person that wants this feature. Apparently no one else wants it. The problem I have with this is essentially it hurts no one to have it available. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to, at least the way that I am proposing it. But people just want to shit on it no matter what. It's just mind-boggling. I didn't think that this was going to be such a hot topic in counterculture opinion. I didn't think it was going to be... An, it, it, I, t I thought that this would be a basic thing that people would say, Yeah, sure. Let's put it in just so we can try it and see if it, impro if it improves anything. But no! People just want to keep making excuses. And they just want to keep coming up with alternative solutions. I think that Creality needs to come up with the solution so that people who are buying the machine, especially that if it is their first machine, because a lot of people have bought this as their first machine. People who bought this as their first machine do not want to convert the damn thing to Clipper. People who bought this machine do not, when they're expecting to be able to have worry-free auto-leveling, do not want to convert the printer to have knobs like the old printers. Is this such a wild thing that people do not, un that experienced people do not understand? I think it's more that they're that pe a lot of people don't even think about other people anymore. I think that it's more that they're just focused on themselves, what they know, what they can do, what they want to do. And I think that's where the fundamental issue of the community comes in. Because I think a lot of people who get this machine are, for some reason, these super experienced people who probably have better machines. I, in fact, have a better machine, but my better machine can't do a specific project that I wanted, which I was hoping this machine would, but it cannot because it is fundamentally flawed. <sighs> I got a little hot there. It's, uh, this issue really grinds my gears, really boils my piss. It really just burns me up. It is just so, I find it so obnoxious that this is how the community received this suggestion. I don't, I don't remember if I said this, but I was hoping that this would be a, <clears throat> just a simple little survey to have people be like, yeah, sure, Creality should implement this, and then you can send it to Creality, and maybe they will implement it, but now Creality has just been reinforced to stay the same shitty way that they have been. I don't know what Creality is doing to improve this printer anymore, if they even are going to improve the printer anymore. There hasn't been an update for the firmware since the 1.0.6, which I believe was, I would believe it was made sometime last year, I think in October. <laughs> I don't know, but that's a really long time, and this printer is still severely flawed, at least mine is. Lots of other people at least can have tolerable results, and that can actually create something, but <sighs> it's just so frustrating. Am I the only one that feels this way, that feels this frustrated that the community is this way, that feels this frustrated that Creality is this way, that feels fr so frustrated that this printer is this way. And there's essentially nothing that you can do 
uh, except for if you're you are an advanced community user or tinkerer because at the i for other people who don't know and are only, have only watched this video from me i have made quite a few videos about my my journey trying to fix this printer physically mostly physically because i can't do anything uh software wise firmware wise i don't have that knowledge and i have too many other things on my plate in my life to be able to learn how to do it on top of the fact that apparently they don't have it available to be able to change so <sighs> I don't know I don't know what to do for this printer and reality really doesn't know either. I keep going back for for customer support and they are willing to try and help but they just can't. I don't know what is fundamentally flawed in this printer but it is something because it cannot work at least my machine and I've had it for a really long time now and I, I so I can't return it back they are they refuse to offer to allow me to send the printer back to not even for a refund but to get it simply repaired or exchanged for a, a machine that can actually do stuff I think one of the issues is that the printer relied too heavily on the textured bed um, because the printer could print prints in my original review with the textured bed that came with it. The problem was over adhesion then, but then I switched to my G10 bed, which usually has great adhesion. It works perfectly on the N3 V2, but it cannot adhere to it. At least it barely adheres and it adheres crappily. So let's just summarize what I've said here. The community needs to stop making excuses for Creality. I understand that the price point for the machine is actually quite good and competitive. However, it seems that they're trying to put too much advanced machinery into that price point and they don't seem to be willing to fix it because everyone acknowledges that the auto leveling has never worked. At least not properly and perfectly like it should because there lots of other machines have done it essentially perfectly you know at, you know perfectly they've done it at least close to lots of community things have done it perfectly where it has been exactly perfectly but i don't so creality has essentially no excuses but the community keeps defending them and then just coming up with alternative dumb solutions that are in itself smart but they're dumb for the fact that you would have to do them. There should be no reason. And people just keep on making excuses and just saying, oh, you should do this. And it's like, no, I should not do this. I should, reality should fix their ways and quit being a shithead and make their machines, at least th th their machines usually can work. And this one, I guess, can work, but it just doesn't work right, especially when you change the bed. I don't know. I'm just so frustrated with having work with, worked with this machine for almost a year now, and it just seems like it's like it like I am never gonna fix this machine. I think I just have to sell it at this point. I don't know. It's so annoying, <laughs> and I can't sell it for the same amount that I got it. Obviously, you have to mark it down quite a bit, and then if you sell it online, usually your best chance of actually selling the machine is if you ship it. But then sh this thing is big enough where the shipping is going to cost. Pretty much this if you lower the price to a decent price point for me to sell it then it's going to the 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 shipping cost is going to supersede the the savings that you would get from from shipping normally so yeah i think i made my point i've ranted on enough about this but once again my faith has been deheartened i've been deheartened by the community by reality well mostly just the community in this part reality had nothing to do with this but somewhat a little bit but yeah my faith in this machine continues to be extremely low in the negative numbers. So, that's all I have to say for now. So I'm going to say, bye-bye.